one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I served the people of the United States and lived the Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard values. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave and fall in combat behind. Today we're here to honor several men and women who for one reason or another did not get their honors at the proper time. Sometimes families are 
unable to attend. Other times, they outlive their families. Unfortunately, at times, the families turn their back on the, or they turn their back on the family. Unfortunately, it's a trend amongst the Vietnam veterans, and unless we ourselves get out there and work with the vets coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, it's going to be a problem for them one of these days. So it's up to us to continue working with them to show them that they do not have to worry about coming home. Several years ago, these men all held their hand up and took an oath to the United States of America to defend this country from all enemies and from within and from without. The other day, I wrote it, but the date on a document and saw that it was 1115. And that date shot across my mind because 52 years ago on November 15th, I enlisted. Doesn't seem like it was that long. Before a guy said you won. Yeah, digress on that. Uh, there was a problem in the newspaper article, I'm not 71. <laughs> and I was not bowing in a ritual. I couldn't stand up. So. <laughs> Today we're here to honor Nicholas De La Torre, United States Army. Robert Johnson, United States Army. Robert Hildrum, United States Army. Willie Reynolds, United States Army. Jack Kennewell, United States Navy. Glenn Buford, United States Army. And Jack Popham, United States Army Air Corps, World War II. We are honored to have his granddaughters uh, here today. Granddaughter and great granddaughters. Hmm? Granddaughter and great granddaughters. I was going to say, I think I got a couple of great granddaughters there, too. <laughs> but they were not able to attend his service when he was buried last week. So we are here today to honor him as we are honoring him. Good morning. Good morning. And, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. You know, as I was uh, preparing for this message today, I got thinking about the first time when I was overseas, spending the first holiday away from my family and everything. You know, I, I really can't remember how I felt because it's been 40, 40 years ago. But I remember sitting in the barracks and, and some of the young guys that, that uh, were married, you know, or freshly married. And, and, uh, they were missing their wife and, and their family and everything. And I, although I tried to say something, I just I just didn't know what to say. And you know what? Um, that quite often happens to us. And I got to thinking about all the uh, KIA funerals that we've done this year and, and past years and everything. And um, you just at a loss of words a lot most of the time. What to say? And I think, you know, what do you say to that? young wife or young husband that uh, has lost their, their spouse and you know what, they had the whole future in front of them and they're thinking about the holidays together and everything, all of a sudden they're alone. It's just, the words are not there. And I think about, what would you say, what do you say to the kids when they come up and say, where's mommy at, where's daddy at, or where's my brother Mike or my sister? Uh, again, words just don't, they never can come to you. And it's not just the young. I think about the older vets that we've done the service for. And then what do you what do you say to that that spouse has been in that same house, owns that same person for 40 years, 
30 years, 50 years. And they raised their family, you know, and they're, spending, they're looking forward to spending the time with their grandkids. And all of a sudden, they, they're alone. They're by themselves, and their spouse is gone. You know, and, and no matter what we want to do and whatever we want to say, it, it just doesn't matter. But I, would, I want to ask one request from, from everybody for this holiday season. When you sit down tomorrow for the dinner with all your friends and your family, I ask that you'll take one moment out and uh, say a prayer for those, the young ones that are uh, serving, us, serving us now, the, the ones that have lost their spouses, and the ones that uh, are lost now, they just are by themselves. And I pray that you'll say a, a special prayer for all of them. And while you're saying that prayer, I ask that uh, Maybe that you'll say a prayer for the United States and uh, Israel as they, as they go through this conflict in Gaza. And I've got one special prayer I would ask everybody to, to remember. And, and I know none of you know him, but I ask that you do a, a special prayer for a uh, buddy of mine and his family. Uh, Wendell and I were high school buddies. Uh, we played football together. And he, uh, we played golf every time I went back and everything. Um, I don't know, about six months ago, he fell coming out of the shower. Uh, and to make a long story short, they did his funeral yesterday too. So I ask that you remember all these people and the people that left portion in prayers. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We want to thank you for this opportunity to bring honor to you and to bring honor to all those that have served and they are serving our country. We pray that um, when we come to the less fortunate, that we open our hearts and uh, out to help them too. And we pray that you'll watch over all of us as we go on the holiday season. We pray that you'll watch over all the paper guard writers that will do the rest of the mission. So we pray for something. We love you. Amen. Amen. a special time of the year. Uh, we get into November, December, and uh, it, it becomes a special time of year for everybody, for whatever means, and whatever reasons. Uh, you look at the news, uh, it doesn't look good for our troops again. Uh, looks like we're probably going to be over there for a lot longer again. But then here in the States, we're fighting a war, too. If you read the judges' reading yesterday where there can be no religious nativity scenes set up on public grounds, we're losing that battle. <laughs> Makes no difference. This is a special time of the year. And I can't get into it without getting my soapbox started. He was just a common soldier, and his ranks are growing thin. But his presence should remind us we may need his like again. For when countries are in conflict, then we find the soldier's part is to clean up all the troubles that the politicians start. If we cannot do him honor while he's here to hear the praise, then at least let's give him homage at the ending of his days. Perhaps just a simple headline in a paper that would say, Our country is in mourning. A soldier died today. Thank you all for being here as you go to your families and celebrate Thanksgiving. Remember what it is. It is Thanksgiving. And it's our way of saying thanks for everything that we have received.
Yesterday heroes home to stay Bear on the memories of a thousand days We changed our stations from the wartime media As they held the flag for America Ticker tape parades for victories won Do full honor for the gallant ones The eyes of the warriors And they still feel the pain From holding the flag for America Uncle Harry, he was lucky He came back here in one piece But countless thousands others are sometimes forgotten casualties And as we lay all snug and warm and tucked away in bed Mary wears a bracelet She talks to God at night Remembering her lover Still missing in the fight the Wheelchairs and crutches Are sometimes the souvenirs From holding the flag 